fellow Scorpio, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. Happy, what is it today? Friday. <laughs> Happy Friday. How are you? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for stopping here, for stopping in and clicking here. I appreciate you. We are going to start with, what am I looking for then? Give me just one moment. Okay. I'll do these ones first then. All right. Just getting my orders from headquarters. Here we go. <laughs> Scorpio, thank you for stopping in here. If you are the one that's always clicking here, I appreciate you so much. Thank you all the ways you love me and support me and, um, and uh, be in the comments. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so, so much. All right. Here we go. Let's take a look at some energy for Scorpio on the week ahead, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Scorpio. Oh, okay, great gratitude is what we have. We have at the bottom of the deck, we also have your higher self and the sacred temple. It looks like it's really going to be a very um, specifically gratitude filled or um, spiritual week coming up. So there's going to be, you know, your higher self and the sacred temple tells me that you are meditating and manifesting the sacred temple is the place that you go for your healing as well so it feels like that there is some great things coming up for sure in the future but for right now we have you're in a consciousness of great gratitude i love that because when you're in a constant flow of gratitude it's always going to be added to you understand it's a it's like a Hmm. Charlie's showing me like a, a water wheel. You know, back in the day, they that's how they would bring water into the town, through a water wheel. And it's like it's a continuous flow, right? It's constantly picking up water and, and turning it over. Great gratitude. It's like when you, yeah, it's like it's never ending. It's always flowing. All right. Great gratitude. Just listening. We've got yellow birds. We've got one bird of all the birds that has purple on it. It's like somebody's got gratitude for what they see now because purple is the violet is the third eye. And she does have a little bit of a dark mark on the middle of the forehead, if I'm being honest there. Yeah, so it feels like somebody is in gratitude. They really see things very clearly, it seems. Or are about to because that bird she's looking away from it so either she now sees or she's about to one of the two feminine or masculine there's a beautiful girl on the picture but you know we all have feminine and masculine energy wow okay love begins there we go i think that we were kind of talking around this subject last time right um whether or not you should go i think that's what the last reading was about i'll mark it at the end of this at the end of this reel so you can uh, watch it if you like and what do we have here we have authority hmm. I don't usually read these in the reverse but we can't ignore that it's come out in the reverse right I can never ignore that <laughs> yeah uh, okay love begins and we've got the authority in the reverse I don't really like that energy we've got conflict and defeat what okay all right fine Let's find out what else is going on. Here we go. So the authority is the is the emperor, and um, when the emperor is in reverse in in my um, energy in my mind and how I think and connect to the cards, um, um, I see the emperor as four people <laughs> or four energies because he's got all of the energies of all of the kings, right, and all the lessons. And it, to me, feels like whenever the emperor is in reverse, he's not making great decisions because he's not in balance with all of the kings. I feel like it's like a king is out of whack, right? Like maybe the king of swords is in the reverse or maybe the king of wands is in the reverse. But it feels like when I see the emperor come out in the reverse that there is something the emperor is either struggling with or... Um, or is fighting against because whatever you resist will persist it feels like you know the the emperor would would push against right the emperor would push back always oh <laughs> the emperor i think is pushing back on love yeah love begins but it says here i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things 
Oh, so you know what I think it is? That, that the emperor is not used to this. Not used to having a realization because the emperor thinks they already know it all. Do you know what I mean? I'm not calling you a know-it-all if you're an emperor. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. But it, it almost feels as though the emperor is in reverse because um, uh, of going outside the comfort zone, being in gratitude, and being in gratitude for love. And yeah, and it feels like uh, resistance. That's what it feels like. It feels like somebody is resisting change or resisting this love. And I think it might be someone who qualifies as an emperor. And who is that, right? Someone who takes charge, someone who's at the front of the line, the warrior, right? The one who's making the decisions that are best for all involved because not only is, is he, you know, a king in his own right, but he's also, he runs the empire. That's why he's the emperor, right? So the kings and queens report to the emperor because the emperor is the one who makes the final decision, whether it's a good one or a bad one, harder or easy, right? Oh, yes. I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? Sorry, we're just having a conversation. All right, we'll do it this way then. Let's take a look here. <coughs> take a look, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you are a cross watcher, welcome, welcome. Please know I usually am reading from Scorpio's point of view. All right, here we go. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week ahead for Scorpio, please. Tell me more about this great gratitude. Okay. That one wants to come out. And this one too. And that one too. We'll take those. Oh, the full moon. Look at that. I love that. Wow. So the full moon was on the 5th of April. 5th and slash 6th. Wherever, depending wherever you live, right? Um, so we're usually, um, yeah, we've, we've, we've just kind of started into just a little more than a week past the full moon here. And it feels as though the full moon brought someone, oh, someone has decided they're going to speak up. So, um. It feels like well, on the full moon, it almost feels like the end of a cycle came because that's what full moons are, right? It's ending a cycle and then the new cycle then begins. But the um, the full moon, I feel it almost feels as though you're holding space for someone. The hand is there. I also feel like you were the only one who who could unlock this power of victory. I'm just looking at the key hole there. I think that you were the only person that could unlock it. You did something around the full moon collective. Um, <coughs> pardon me, whether it was setting an intention or doing a ritual, you know, just letting go of some things. I feel like if that's you, you are you are headed to victory. Yeah, six of six of wands, right? Um, it, it almost feels as though somebody, uh, yeah, like lessen their load or cut somebody away because I'm looking at a sword because we're speaking up, right? The Queen of Swords is someone who is the divorcee, can be, that could apply, maybe it doesn't here, but um, uh, we've got Libra uh, energy here, also Gemini and Aquarius in this reading because uh, it's a general reading. But we have the Queen of Swords and it feels as though there's victory in speaking up. Like uh, it almost feels like this could be a silent speak up. You spoke up to the universe and said, look, I'm done. Cut this away. Cut this person away. Cut the situation away. Um, but it feels like there is um, there is uh, victory here. Yeah. Victory in speaking up. Hmm, something is coming to an end. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah, full moon. Things do come to an end on the full moon. They do. It's a time, yeah, to let things go. And somebody here did. Scorpio, it's you. We have the Ace of Swords and you're ready to talk about it. Five of Wands, interesting. So still a little bit of apprehension or indecision about speaking up.
but I, I do know that you want to because the Queen of Swords is here and now the Ace of Swords is here. So it feels like um, with the full moon here that there there was probably some things that you cut away. That you were, you were honest and truthful with yourself, Scorpio, and decided what you did and did not need. So whether it was an intention or you're like, you know what, I'm just going to take that person off my list or, you know, whatever it is. You delete them from your phone, delete the old messages and delete them from your phone. It feels like you cut something away on the full moon and that caused a cycle to end for you. It caused transformation in the mind, the way you think. The way you now see the situation is different because you are transformed. Yeah, because of the things that you cut away. You literally changed your mind and your energy, your timeline. Yeah. So it feels like with the Ace of Swords here and the Six of Wands, it feels like you want some victory to speaking to someone about something. You need some clarity, honesty, honesty and truth here. And you're this new person, right? The new person that speaks up. So it feels like you do have some apprehension about go going forward, though, um, that maybe, yeah, that maybe this conversation might be a little more passionate or fiery than you want it to be. Because I think you're going in in swords, to be honest. I think you're going in cerebral, logical, I got questions. I feel like you're going to try and keep it, you know, in a state of swords. Yeah. But I also feel like you you know that the five of wands is here. It's like looming here. <laughs> yeah. Like it's it's cornered here by the by the swords. It almost feels like you know that at any moment this conversation could go sideways. But it does feel like some communication or or something like that is coming up because of the ace of swords and the six of wands. I think we're in this energy right now the Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords. I feel like you're you're wanting to move forward. You're wanting the victory. It's been hard back there, but you're willing to just turn your back to all of that and move forward. But you need some questions answered. It's going to be the opening of a conversation here for the lovers, right? Can't write that stuff. I'm telling you. Could be talking about the King of Wands, who is Leo, but also Sagittarius and Aries in a, in a uh, reading that is uh, general. And then we have the Knight of Stars, uh, who is the Knight of Pentacles. So it looks like somebody's been dragging their heels, the Emperor probably. See, the King of Wands is here, right? So it could be that the King of Wands is in reverse. That could be the reason why the, the authority is in the reverse. Because with the King of Wands in reverse, I mean, showing here in the upright, but also next to the Knight of Pentacles who's taken their own damn time, right? <laughs> Moving really slow towards the lovers. Well, there, look at that. Look, I can't write that stuff. <laughs> uh -uh. Scorpio, it's you and this crazy energy you give me. Look at that. The Emperor's in reverse twice. Okay, so I don't know if that's you or the other person, but but the emperor is in reverse, and I think it's because um, we're not taking action. Yeah, it's the knight, uh, not the knight, but the king of wands that showed up, and it feels like if yeah, it feels like it's because of inaction. But there's love all around the emperor, and it's it feels like there has to be a transformational moment here before we can talk about it. What are we looking at? Right, thank you. All right. Well, this is curious, is it not? Let's take a look here. What do we have for the full moon and death, please? So there was a transformational moment. It was a portal you stepped through, I feel, that you, it's, y'all, you know, it, it sounds weird when we say things like stepping through portals and things like that, but you literally jump yourself to another timeline when you have, when you have a death, when you have something that comes to an end, it ends the situation as it ever was, and it goes forward being something completely brand new. So it's like you jump to another timeline, and now we're going to go this way. You know what I mean? It is the coolest thing, I think. Okay. Stop talking, Elsie, and lay the cards down. I know. I get too excited about tarot. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. It was something that was making you sad. Something that you were not happy with. Um, I feel like you, you were holding yourself back from making this decision. It feels like you held back from making this decision. And I feel like it's somebody who really is like, you know what, if my friends knew that I was trying to do some kind of damn ritual under the under the full moon, they would all think I'm wackadoo, <laughs> right? 
it feels like somebody who really didn't even believe in it said, look, I just need to, I need to get rid of this heavy energy. And I feel like you, you either set an intention or you do some sort of very simple little ritual. Yeah, and it makes a big deal. It's like the universe was just waiting for that. Waiting for you to make the decision to move forward. The Six of Clubs is here. This is the Six of Clubs. This is Six of Wands. So card number 36 uh, tells me that's a nine. Tells me you could be in hermit mode, feeling sad, or feeling like you've had a loss or lost something. But you do want the victory. And so I think that you, instead of feeling bad or sad, you decide to cut something away. Six of Wands. I feel like you've been worried about breaching the surface. Yeah. I always see this this anchor as, of course, being, you know, terribly heavy, made of brass or whatever they are, steel. Um, but it feels like this particular anchor has been pulled out of the water and is breaching the surface. One, two, three. Oops, one, two, three, four, five birds here. So there's change. Um, we've got card number 35, which uh, breaks down to an eight. And it's a card of the self or putting hard work into something. So maybe it was really hard work for you, Scorpio, to breach the surface, to make the decision to move forward, to, to end a cycle and begin again. Because we've got the nine of spades here, which is the nine of swords. We've got the ace of swords, which is the tenth. And now you can close the cycle, breach the surface, and start talking about the things that you want to work on. Things that matter to you for the six of wands. The things that are going to take you towards your victory. Oh my. Scorpio, this is good energy. I like it. Yeah, something's happening really quickly here. And I'm just going to say that the, the whip in the broom is something that happens super quick, but it also can be something that's very stinging, that hurts. Or So I want to say the Queen of Swords is here, so be aware of your words. Be aware of your words if you don't want the Five of Wands. Um, the Jack of Clubs is here, which is um, the Knight of um, the Knight of Wands, and so it feels as though there is the potential here for the conversation to go sideways um, because of the Whip and the Broom, because things will. Uh, the Queen of Swords may, you know, um, say something that may hurt or may may cut but remember you're holding a double-edged sword okay because so whatever is going to hurt you whatever's going to hurt them is going to hurt you as well all right scorpio scorpio thank you for this energy Ooh, what do we got here all right ah so the the authority the emperor here is in the reverse because the emperor has decided to move forward here, but first we have to cut away the things that um, are making us unstable, right? Got to cut away those things, whether they're memories or people or whatever they are. This emperor, I believe uh, this authority wants to have a new start. You know what? I'm just going to tell you great gratitude is at the top there. And I'm just going to tell you that that's how my journey began with practicing gratitude every day for what I had around me. And uh, great gratitude, I think, is really changing the life of the emperor as well. So bravo to you if you figured that out. We have the six of pentacles here. So it feels like that the emperor here wants to breach the surface to give reciprocity to someone. Now, it feels like the emperor is probably someone who is already giving to someone else. Or, you know, they could be divorced and they might have kids from that marriage or something like that. But they are willing to give reciprocity. Mm -hmm. Definitely. We have the Page of Wands. So, yeah, be careful with how you're delivering your messages. We've got the Page of Wands. And, you know, this can be sort of a little bit of a dangerous combination here, these three, because we have someone who's quite immature in how they, you know, see the world. Like, this could be, maybe not, maybe you're not immature, but I'm just saying maybe it's fun and flirty and, and you know, that kind of energy. But combined with the Queen of Swords energy and the whip and the broom seems like, it could be something you say out of context or they take it out of context or something. It, it has the ability to really hurt someone and, and cause, cause strife or upset or somebody to say, wait a second, this isn't what I signed up for. 
you know, the, the Five of Wands is indecision as well. So I'm going to say read the room. <laughs> yeah, read the room. So we've got the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Why is that? Okay, so because of the Three of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So this person is looking for someone for stability. So I feel like this, this Emperor, it feels like, has a lot of love around them. It feels like what, what the Emperor has been practicing is gratitude and it feels like there had to be a lot of things cut away in order for this emperor to be able to have this new start. The emperor is sharing with somebody else. It feels as though the emperor just wants to breach the surface. Now, Scorpio, I keep saying the emperor because I don't know if that's you or your person, so take it as it resonates. Um, um, the emperor is all the kings, okay? Um, so the ace of swords, I think, is where we're at right now. That's what I think where we're at. Somebody wants victory with a conversation here. They want to breach the surface. Uh, take that as it resonates. What is the challenge here? The challenge is asking somebody out. Yeah, somebody's got to make a move and ask and ask the other one out. Yeah, I think that's what's going down here. Somebody is going to make the decision to um, to breach the surface here, put the hard work in, and the challenge is. I want to ask this person out. How do I do it? I I feel like after um, after a um, maybe a family is not together anymore. Like the 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 ten of cups is in the reverse, and it tells me someone's either um, uh, holding off on or not ready for a family life, but they're waiting for that. Like it's the right person came along and gave stability that they'd be ready for that. So I feel like there isn't really a decision right here as to what's going to go on in the future. I think we're just going to go with the flow. That's what it feels like, Scorpio, that you're just supposed to go with the flow because it looks like there is some type of energy coming up here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So it feels like you have some secrets that you want to tell or you want to tell somebody and be honest with them. That might also be why the Emperor is in reverse here, but it's taken a very long time to get to this point. I'm going to say that if you decide, look at that, if you decide to tell this person exactly how you feel, um, then I feel like the nine, of, the nine of Cups is yours. Yeah, and then we get to heal it. So, all right, I'm going to go for now. I don't think I'm going to extend this. I think you got all the information that you need for the week ahead, Scorpio. So I'm going to leave it just here. I love you guys. Thank you for coming here and clicking here. And I will be back, of course. Love y'all. Bye-bye.